And in Nollywood, industry professionals from actors to on-air personalities and comedians came out to support the new Bovi Uboma dark comedy, My Village People, as it arrived in box office last weekend. Details in this next report. Dressed in their best local, mystical, and enchanted outfits, artists from actors to comedians showed out for the premiere of My Village People, comedian Bovi Uboma's newest movie release on June 6th. I want to make sure I spray my sister. I'm never going to have the chance again. Don't ruin my traditional honeymoon. I am not going to die. Those were daddy's last words. I'm leaving before daybreak. Okay? There's night before daybreak. And darkness, darkness functions more at, at night. night. My sister, the poet, you are too scared. I'm not scared of witches. My Village People, executive produced by Moses Babatope, Idris Olorunimbe, and Uboma, who also wrote and stars as the lead, follows Prince, a young man who visits his village for his sister's traditional wedding and ends up caught in a love triangle with the marine world and a coven of witches. You better both wear your best Christmas clothes and show up. Please give me that talk. Yeah! Yeah! I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> the movie choked because the story is something almost everybody can relate to. It's a commercial world. Yeah, so everybody's interested. Oh, a hang. So everybody's interested. Because now, commercial story. My village people, you choke. What he's trying to do right now is something new. Nobody has ever done it before, and the reason why they've never done it before is because of it's a risky move. You understand? But I think it's gonna be go good. I think it's gonna be dope. I don't need you. Prince here is my business. Oh, but this is exactly my business. The movie, whose title stems from the popular titular Woe, adds some humor to a few scares to tell a fascinating story, giving us a dark comedy a genre not often seen in mainstream Nollywood movies. I've been summoned to the coven. Okay, first of all, this is the first time we are seeing a combination of comedy and uh, horror or witchcraft or mystical stuff in one movie. We have never seen it. It is either it's a normal movie and you see witches or wizards or you see a native doctor hindering the success of a young man or somebody or a native doctor making a wife they hate so much being barren for years but for the first time we are going to be afraid and we are going to laugh as well so these are the kind of things Nigeria need at this moment because this country too hard now so these are the kind of things we want to see we want to think deep at the same time laugh to that we want to be afraid and laugh at the same time so it's it's a very good movie and i like the mix it's a very good mix find the solution okay i am walking on the one they walk fast it's not to get shower i don't want to go in here Prince, let's go the story stemmed from African folklore, promotes traditional aspects of storytelling, it's keeping cultural scared. tales I'm intact. We have a lot of stories to tell in Africa. As far as I'm concerned, I think Hollywood have told all their stories. Because everybody, they're just remaking, rehashing, you know, rejigging. But in Africa, we still have so much we can talk about. We haven't even talked about our own mythical gods in that way. So this is just like pushing the boundaries and we need to keep pushing it because there's still so much we can tell. Find the solution. Some of the attendees even share their favorite Nigerian folklore, myths, and stories from childhood and even now. Our favorite one, Lady Koi Koi. Because I cannot think of, I cannot think of a, a, a woman like me kind of like invisible but I see just her shoes like because I can relate to it as someone who's always wearing heels it's like where's the body where's the person why am I just hearing koi 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 yeah also that bush baby one is very scary as well. 
the bush baby is very scary too. Yeah. Having a child like crying and then you have to go, yeah. Did you see hot cars? Um, Willy Willy. What do they call it? Willy Willy or what? Willy Willy, I am a tanga. Uh, I can't remember them right now, right? So, okay, one for Clay Love. That is that has to do with <laughs> mysteries. Picking will say Papa no go sleep. Itself no go sleep. That is if a child is a witch, the father will disturb the child too. <laughs> In a time filled with coronavirus and insecurity in the country, this movie comes just in time to transport people to a different mind space and give some comedic relief. First things first, Niger alone, surviving in Lagos, it's like a tsunami. Surviving in Lagos is like a hurricane re effect. It's like a hurricane rippling effect. If, if you're not checking your mental health, you will run mad. You will run down as the band you say. You might find yourself on Todd Mainland Bridge, jumping into God knows what. So I feel that works like this, with that comedic undertone, still with the underlining message of social consciousness, snaps us out of that. For a fleeting moment, but we want it. We want things like this. We want to come out here, laugh, forget our sorrows, forget all the madness. Just have a ball. Have a great laugh with your friends because Nigerians have forgotten how to have fun. We're here, everybody's playing dress up. Me, I'm here to have a ball anyway. People go to Owambe parties because they, there's that pressure to look a certain kind of way. We have forgotten how to enjoy ourselves. Everyone is recording everything on their phones. I don't come out with my phones, I throw them in the car. Because I want to immerse myself in the moment and have a ball. So I implore everyone, Naija, please, let us know how to have fun for once. Hey, John, don't you alone! My Village People comes out in cinemas on June 11th. <laughs>